modern artificial intelligence techniques have gotten remarkably good at creating fresh photos and more recently films from the start or from existing ones. One of the most well-liked applications of generative AI for this is image synthesis. In general, the more exact the information you offer, the better the result the system will produce for you. However, finding the proper prompt can be difficult. You can utilize sites like Lexica to discover a related prompt to make things easier. So, once you've found an appropriate image, click on it to view the prompt. Stable Diffusion AI and Mid Journey, two of the most common AI image generators, will be discussed in today's video along with how you can utilize them to improve your AI art. Ready? So let's get going! Now, let's start by taking a look at how Stable Diffusion can be used to create gorgeous visuals. The first thing we need to do is to provide a program with a text string called a prompt when employing Stable Diffusion to produce beautiful photographs. To see the generated photos, copy the prompt, paste it into the Stable Diffusion and select Generate. However, you will notice that the program did not produce an identical duplicate of the original image. Instead, you see a few different versions of the image. That is how Stable Diffusion operates and can also mention the seed files if you want to see a close duplicate of the original image located at Lexica. Model, on the other hand, is a second step in creating stunning visuals with Stable Diffusion. Now, the effect of using a prompt may differ for various models of Stable Diffusion. There are now two major releases available, each including a few variants of Stable Diffusion. The following step for generating amazing images with Stable Diffusion is Steps. Consider steps to be repetitions of the image generating process. During the early steps, the image resembles visual noise with individual pieces that are blurred. The system alters the image with each iteration, either by adding more information to the existing design or by modifying the image itself. The sample step is set to 30 by default. It is a short sequence of steps. Another important step to do when creating gorgeous photographs is to seed. One of the most important settings in Stable Diffusion is Seed. Once you've generated an image you like and want to twist it a little to make it look good, you can just run Dream Again since Stable Diffusion will certainly produce a completely new image. So, you must save the number of photos in the Seed field. You will see an alternate version of the original image if you keep the number and type it into the Seed input box and run Stable Diffusion again with an alternative prompt. These are the results if we add another attribute to the prompt, such as with two moons. The next step is to determine the width and height. These specify the dimensions of the created image. Stable Diffusion generates images with sizes ranging from 512 to 512 pixels by default. When you see the size, you will obtain the most consistent results. The size can be changed, but it will take more computational power. As a result, when we adjust the size of the image, the cost of operation that credits in the top right corner grows. The CFG scale is an additional step. The option at this stage specifies how closely Stable Diffusion will listen to your prompt. Let's utilize the same prompt but this time, experiment with the CFG scale. When the scale is set to zero, AI will only consider a subset of the prompt. When we increase the scale to its maximum, AI will rigorously adhere to the command. Generally, it is best not to make the scale too large and to select a value such as 15. The final step is image to image generation. We may utilize this step to use an image as a source for stable diffusion, allowing the system to generate images from it. We can go to Lexica to find our image and prompt, then download and paste the image and prompt into Dream Studio. You may see the new image strength setting. The lower the image strength value, the less AI relies on the original image. Now that we've discussed how to use Stable Diffusion to improve your AI art, let's look at how we can use the Meet Journey. But first, if you are getting value, please subscribe and like this video because it will really help us grow. Also, be sure you have turned on the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Now, let's journey with Meet Journey. Meet Journey is a research lab that provides an AI tool that generates visuals from text descriptions akin to Dal E and Stable Diffusion from OpenAI. It is thought that technology is based on Stable Diffusion. Mid Journey is now in an open beta phase, which began on July 12, 2022. 
The team is directed by David Holes, who co-founded Leap Motion and claims that the company is currently profitable. Users can generate images by using particular commands with Midjourney's Discord bot. Midjourney AI is a creative tool that uses short language descriptions to develop unique worlds, characters, and visuals. It is an AI-powered text-to-image converter that generates images based on your input. To use the service, you must first create a Discord account. Now it's your turn. You can use the Imagine command on the Midjourney Discord server by following these simple steps. First, sign up for Discord. Visit Midjourney's webpage and select Join the Better to begin using the service. You will then be directed to a site where you may sign up for the account and keep using Discord. You can browse the web-based chat or download the desktop software after registering. After a certain amount of free photographs, you must pay a monthly charge for restricted image production according to Me Journey. Next, look for beginner's channel on any server where the Me Journey bot has been invited. You can make photos using it. On your server, look for directions on how to utilize the bot. To continue, Use the Imagine command in the following action. You must enter a command in order to use the Midjourney bot on Discord. You can use commands to take photos, change the default settings, keep track of user information, and carry out other beneficial tasks. Use the Imagine command followed by a brief written description referred to as a prompt to indicate the type of image you wish to create. After that, the bot will create a special graphic depending on your input. The next step is procedures and waiting for AI to create the image. You can wait for the photos to be created by Midjourney AI using the description you provided and four alternative images are generated by Midjourney bot in roughly a minute. Now, any operation that makes use of the bot is referred to as a job, which includes the imagined request that generates a grid of images, upscales photographs, or produces image variations. Use the info command to display the fast time remaining to keep track of how much longer your free trial will last. Finally, go through the generated images and upsize or create new variations. However, after the initial image grid is completed, two rows of buttons appear that are U1, U2, U3, U4, and V1, V2, V3, V4. While the U buttons increase the size of the image, resulting in a large version with more details, the V button produces minor changes to the selected image in the grid, and this generates a new grid of images that are stylistically and compositionally identical to the original image. Furthermore, reroll, reruns a job and it will then replay the original prompt, resulting in a fresh grid of photos. Now, send the final image to yourself via the conversation envelope symbol and save or download the image for later use. It will also worth noting that the more explicit and detailed your description, the better the findings of the Me Journey AI will produce. We believe that by following the guidelines offered, you will be able to improve your AI art using Stable Diffusion and Me Journey. AI Stable Diffusion is also a tutorial channel to help you in this new artificial way to work, to stay connected with your natural intelligence and use it to scale up yourself. The engineering that processes machine learning needs to start from natural learning data. For this reason, AI Stable Diffusion will radically change our approach to natural intelligence. This channel will teach you how to enhance your natural learning and put it at the service of automatic learning to gain an ethical and professional advantage. Welcome to AI Stable Diffusion. Have you ever used Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey to generate image? Share your experience in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.